Have you ever wondered how someone can transform from a measly body to a fantastic sculpted physique? Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about David Lane and see how his bodybuilding journey unfolded. Damn, you're tall. Okay, so can I ask you three questions? Sure. Okay, first one is blonde or brunettes? I'll probably have to say, for my preference, like brunettes have been more common for me than not. Do you care if your girl works out or not? Is that a deal? It's not, it's not an ultimatum, but it's definitely heavily preferred. Okay. David Lade is a relatively young bodybuilder. At age 24, he weighs 195 pounds at 188 centimeters tall. Aside from being a bodybuilder, Lade is also a fitness model, a sponsored athlete, and a social media celebrity. Lade's early life. Lade is an American Estonian. He was born in Estonia in 1998. His early life is not the brightest, as his father suffered a tragic accident when Lade was only two years old. After his father passed away, Lade and his mother moved to the United States to pursue a better life. If your girl follows David Lade, just go ahead and cry yourself to sleep, King. You a lot of insomnia. David Lade can destroy me anytime. If it's in a game of chess, I will more than gladly take that challenge and we'll um, see how that goes. Unfortunately, as a child, Lade and his very skinny build invited lots of bullies. He was only 14 years old at the time and he felt very insecure about his physical appearance. The combination of his diminishing self-confidence and a lack of a father figure to help him was not the best for this small child. On his hockey squad, he recalls being the skinniest player. In the locker room, he was mocked, and he despised wearing a swimming suit, which is difficult to avoid when you live near the ocean. Lade soon understood that his lack of self-confidence prevented him from having a happy life. Eventually, he realized that he needed to change his life at this moment, and he found that fitness might be the solution to his dilemmas. I mean, the whole reason I even got into like working out in general was because you know, before people hit puberty, before guys hit puberty, they're all like, you know, relatively skinny and stuff. Yeah. So it's normal. But for me, I was slightly taller on average and my waist was just so tiny and my limbs were so long. So I looked like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Like you just looked disgusting. Like who? Gollum, Smeagol oh, from yeah, Lord yeah, of the yeah, Rings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Smeagol yeah, yeah. Like the rings. Like the rings. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. But yeah, I mean, so I was just, you know, really, really insecure about that. Then one day I just hit a breaking point where I was like, okay, I'm in a position where it's either curl in the fetal position and die or do something about it. So I decided to do something about it and I, you know, started exercising, lifting weights. David Lade and his early interest in bodybuilding plus his rise to the social media limelight. The soon to rise bodybuilder was diagnosed with scoliosis with only one treatment option available to him. The doctors advised him to begin training and weightlifting with a physical therapist to avoid difficulties. He spent most of his time in the gym before having a strong interest in fitness. The young bodybuilder began to gain muscular mass, prompting him to brag on social media about his accomplishments. Lade set out on a mission to bulk up his frail physique. He overcame the personal confidence concerns that had previously consumed his life by doing so. Lade began watching YouTube videos on muscular growth. He came across various body transformation videos which inspired him to do the same. According to David, quote, I would watch YouTube fitness videos, eat, go to the gym, go home, watch more videos, go to bed, repeat. That's all I would do. That and go to school, end quote. And I guess you could say some of the core people that I really looked up to the most would have been like, Z's was definitely up there because yeah. I, I know it's interesting for me when, when it comes oh, yeah. to Z's because <laughs> when I knew about Z's I was what 13 years old so I'm like yeah. young immature kid I'm like idolizing him like he's this god I'm subscribing to his religion etc but it's interesting you know getting older now you know getting a understanding how you know someone that's older and more mature would perceive Z's and just like how like right. reckless and out of his mind he was but Lade's debut in YouTube was back in 2009 with the username Computerman91. He was only 15 during this time, and his first video was entitled David Lade, 18 Month Transformation. Two years later, Lade uploaded a new video. This time, it's about David Lade three year natural transformation. This video starts with his before pictures the David Lade with pale skin, chicken legs, and twig like physique. Then his videos show his slow metamorphosis to a bulkier and more muscular man. 
this rapidly became his most popular video. His YouTube channel has over 870,000 subscribers and has had over 1 million views. He also has a massive Instagram following of over 1 million people. I just had a complete boredom, didn't you know, have any expectations or goals from it whatsoever. I uploaded it and then over maybe one or two years it was slowly accumulating views and by the time I was about to be a senior in high school it had like a few million views I was like oh holy shit this is pretty cool right. then I had an idea was, you know what this video got really really good views I made a substantial amount of progress since then and I've gotten way 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 better pictures I could make another transformation video that will be way better than that one and I could use copyright free music so I could actually monetize the video maybe make some money from it and then I could take yeah. the money I made from that video and then you know maybe get some camera equipment and then you know do something vaguely resembling a YouTube channel. David Laid Training Regime With training it is essential to follow a training regime that is perfect for the individual. This is precisely what Laid did. Blade's fantastic training regime allowed him to transform from skinny to bulky. Some of his favorite exercises include squats, deadlifts, and bench presses. Blade claims that these three exercises boost his physique at a fast rate. Blade goes to the gym regularly, generally six times each week, to get the most out of his training. He exercises for up to six hours every day, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to achieving his objectives diet and supplements. According to Laid, his biggest shortcoming as a bodybuilder is his hunger. He's never been a big eater and as a youngster he just ate candy and constantly missed meals. He still forgets to eat now and again. For instance, a plate of fries does not appeal to him. Instead, he prefers a fruit salad. He claims one of the biggest regrets was eating clean throughout his first year working out. His diet was simply chicken, rice, and vegetables. Blade was not even getting enough calories in his diet during his early months in fitness training. Blade was compelled to study more about macronutrients as a result of this, and he began to adopt an IIFYM diet, which allowed him to swiftly gain weight by consuming higher calorie meals. He considers adding heavy cream, which has 50 calories per ounce, or tablespoons of olive oil, which has 120 calories each to anything he eats to help bulk up. Lade's unique diet allowed him to eat whatever he wanted as long as he stayed below his calorie limit. He would modify his calorie objectives depending on whether he was reducing, bulking, or maintaining his weight. David Laid could shout me, and when helping me with spotting, I would just waterfall in my underwear. Well, I can't control what you do, right? I can only control what I do. What you're doing, that is your business. I have the fattest crush on David Laid. It appears you do. Furthermore, Laid began his fitness profession believing that a wide range of supplements would be required. Laid now uses the following supplements in his supplement stack. Whey protein, creatine, pre-workout, and multivitamins. David Laid's idols and motivation. When Laid first started working out, he came across several body transformation films, which led him to find Mark Fit, Jeff Sneed, and the Hodge Twins. Laid also idolizes Greg Plitt, one of the bodybuilders who inspired him to achieve his desired physique while constantly pushing himself to achieve more. In his life, Laid encountered hurdles that prevented him from reaching his goals. But still, Laid set himself up to achieve big things by maintaining a focused attitude while working hard in the gym. Because of his perseverance, he now became a sponsored athlete and fitness model. We can learn from David Laid that fitness has the power to improve your life positively while also providing you with the strength to face any challenges in your way. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.